Hi, I'm Zach from CoreXL. Today we're going to show you how to easily fix, okay, if your feet pronate in this way, okay, and if your feet pronate in this way, okay, also your knees are going to cave in as well. So what we're going to show you is how to fix the hips in order to get the feet to actually straighten out and flatten out. And you can look at it as which came first, the chicken or the egg, okay? Sometimes the feet will cave in because genetically you're just predispositioned to be in that position and that's what causes the weakness in the hips or it can be the exact opposite is that the hip weakness causes the feet to cave in either way you have to address the hips in order to fix the feet but we're also going to show you feet exercises as well in order to correct and get more of an arch in your foot so this is Nick here okay and we were able to fix his knees basically they were very valgus, okay, and his feet would prone in. If you look now, okay, look at how straight, feet's totally straight here. Look at that. Look at how the knee just lines up. See how there's no pronation of the foot, okay, and this is how he did look. Go ahead and this is literally how he would look. And if he squatted down, go ahead, squat, the knees would want to cave in this way, okay. Now, go ahead, just squat down naturally and just relax. Obviously, he's pushing out a little bit there. But if he just goes down, go down completely relaxed. You see how the knees just track, okay? Because his feet would cave in and he had those hip weaknesses, talk about in high school, you had about, you had some problems with your ankles and also your knees. Why don't you just talk about those and... Right, so the big one in high school, I uh, tore my ACL, uh, first game of my senior year. So that was a big one, so I had a lot of knee issues because of my feet. I also had, I don't know what exactly it was, but I had some problems like the, the soles of my feet, a lot of pain with that and that, and uh, a lot of ankle sprains. Achilles issues, so and we didn't do all these exercises and now that I've had no issues. You don't feel anything, right? No, everything's been good. So that's how we, we were able to fix him. And the way that we did that is, is basically by correcting a hip weakness, okay, into his glute medius and minimus. So his legs would basically adduct more this way, okay, and push out this way. The other thing that people don't understand is to get the knees to push out and open up, you also have to train the adductors, okay? Because the adductors are gonna pull tight here and they're gonna help rotate that, that knee out this way. But how you train those muscles and how you isolate them, that's what we're gonna show you and give you a little glimpse into it. But we also have a rehab app, it's called Corex 12, okay? And that's gonna get into more details of actually how you can do these exercises and do them properly. And the link is in the details of the video. Okay, this is uh, an exercise that we do for the, specifically for the glute minimus, okay, you're also going to get the medius, but because we're not adducting and because we're just creating medial rotation here, this is very minimus dominant because the minimus hooks to the head of the femur bone here, where the medius hooks right directly on top of the femur bone so you can adduct, okay? So first we're going to develop the, the minimus and then if you get into our rehab app, that's where you can learn how to really then start strengthening the medius to fully fix this this uh, hip and balance here. Okay, so what he's gonna do is he's gonna grab a ball here, okay, and all he's gonna do is he's just gonna flip up and come back down, and that's it. And the goal with this exercise is too, is to make sure this knee doesn't track forward, okay? And we're gonna show you another angle so you can see. Watch, when he comes up here, the other thing we're looking is making sure this knee doesn't go forward here. Okay, look what we're doing then. We're taking that knee and we're dipping it down, we're creating that valve. So we wanna be right over top here and here. See that? And that toe's pointed down, okay? We don't want to do this, because look what that's going to do, cause that pronation. So go ahead, and look at, he's, his hips are popped forward, he's not back like this, okay? The hips are popped forward, the chest, and he's on his elbow, creating that lateral flexion, okay, in his spine, that helps to get into the, the minimus a lot more. Just like that, and notice how he's only coming up to here, okay? What we don't want to do is, when we're doing this, is we don't want to fully flip like this, because look what we're doing, okay? We're creating that valgus knee plane, all right? So we're only flipping up here to here. So we're creating more of a bow leg effect like this, rather than this type of effect. So toe points down, knee stays in line with the knee, and you flip up. Okay, if you wanna learn more, look at the details in the video, click on the app demo, okay? And you can see this exercise, the full exercise, okay? So you can learn exactly how to do this. Okay, this is a PT exercise that they use. I don't use this in my system. I'm not gonna show you all my secrets, okay? We have an exercise called the groin rotator. It's gonna specifically address the medial rotators, the brevis, longus. The pro this, is a, this is not a bad exercise. The problem with this is, if you do have some weaknesses in your groin chain, and also in the glute minimus there, 
sometimes what happens is you compensate when you do this and you get a little bit of an impingement. Still not a bad exercise. This gives you kind of an idea, again, of how to strengthen the groin. So you just get a nice straight line here, drape your leg over, turn the foot up just a little bit, and you just come up. And that's it. Just up and down, okay? And the one thing you don't want to do when you're doing this is kind of let this come too far forward here. Just keep it right underneath the center of your body. He forms a nice straight line, and then he comes up. All right, now we're going to go on to our foot exercise, okay? We're going to be training this inversion of the foot here, okay? Most of the time, people with pronated feet are also flat-footed. So that's why this exercise is going to be really effective. And remember, we put a lot of time and energy into these videos, making sure you guys appreciate them and understand them. So if you guys could like this video, that would really help us out tremendously. And also you have that option again to subscribe if you want to get more information and stay up to date with our exercise videos. Okay, so with this exercise here, you can use a band, okay? But what we're trying to do is, you'll notice that his angle, his ankle, okay, is outside his knee. He doesn't want to be back, okay, move it. doesn't want to be back here. You want to keep your ankle outside the knee, okay? by like a foot or more. And then what he's gonna do is, he's actually gonna be curling his foot here like this, and then he's gonna have the tension here. He's gonna keep this very low to the floor here, and then he's gonna curl and he's gonna roll in. Yep, he just curls and he just rolls in. We're focused here, okay? Into the inside, we're creating that inversion, all right? Post tibialis exercise and also creating that arch in the foot, so great, okay? You don't want to be up here, because now you're going to get into the, the anterior tibial house. You want to stay pointed down here and really stay very close to the floor if you can. Another very important aspect to the training that we do is every time he squats, show him just the form squat. Just get in position, get wider. Like you, like you. He's going to pick his toes up, and he's going to roll on the outside of the feet, and he's oh, go ahead down, and, he, and then he's going to push out like that. So every time he would squat under the bar, this is how we would have them squat. Get on the bar right the fuck now. And up. That way, he's fixing that pronation, okay? So that's also something to keep in mind. And we do have a video out there, okay, with Saquon Barkley. And also, he's in the video as well. And we talk about box squat. We have a link at the end of the video.